What's good, YouTube? Swiftly back with another episode of Rare Builds in NBA 2K25. As you can see on your screen, today's episode, we are going to be creating a inside-out small ball four. Now, obviously, the small ball four, small ball five has been builds that have been in NBA 2K for quite some time now. But now we are seeing new variations like the inside-out. So with that being said, let's jump right into the build. Now, obviously, if you want to make this build, you have to make it at the power forward position. Otherwise, it's not going to be a small ball four of any kind. Obviously, the four being the power forward position. So we're going to go power forward. I went 6'6", six, six, and then I went 210 on the weight and 611 on the wingspan. Like I said in my previous videos, you obviously can tweak this to your liking. These are just the templates that I went with. And then these are the attributes that I went with. I went with a 73 close shot with an 87 driving layup. And then we have a 80 driving dunk with a 72 standing dunk, just so that we get that uh, bronze rise up badge, obviously. And then finally we have a 76 post control. And then for the shooting, we have a 77 mid-range with an 87 maxed out three ball and an 80 free throw. Now, I'm just going to take some time to back out and just show you guys what the max caps are like we usually do in uh, videos like this. Excuse me. Uh, showing you guys just what your potential is. You could potentially have, you know, maxed out steel, legendary steel badges, 99 pass accuracy, uh, 99 driving dunk and layup obviously this this build has an 87 layup but you can max this out to a 99 and get like hall of fame or even legendary layup mix master of uh, legendary flow game so do keep that in mind when you're making builds like this and you're tweaking things so remember just with cat breakers you can make this build exponentially better don't think that you'll be stuck with the 77 mid range if you like to cook up in the midi you can always throw plus 5, plus 10, or even plus 15, depending on uh, what cap breakers you reach for the rep level or whatever for your reward. So do remember that you can make this build better exponentially. You know what I mean? Uh, that being said, uh, for the playmaking, I went with a 75 pass accuracy, an 81 ball handle, and a 75 speed with ball. So we got that silver lightning launch. 81 ball handle gets us bronze ankle assassin, silver handles for days, and silver unpluckable. And then 75 pass accuracy gives us break starter and dimer. Now, if you must, you know, you can tweak some things so you can get a 78 pass accuracy so you can get versatile visionary. As I always try to recommend that you guys reach that threshold because passing in this game is just, uh, you know, just nasty. Passing is nasty. The passing lanes on steals is nasty. So I would recommend that if you do make some tweaks to this build, you know, that plus three to pass accuracy would definitely uh, be something that I go for. And I really don't want to waste my cap breakers on things like this because the cap breakers can get you legendary badges, Hall of Fame badges. I wouldn't want to waste my cap breakers on something like a bronze badge, even though it can't make your build better. Just try to be smart about that. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, I would recommend that if you make some tweaks, that would be the one area that I would definitely make better because everything else on this build is kind of, you know, well-rounded. You know, it's not super great or amazing, just good or decent, you know. Uh, moving on to the defense, we do have a 72 interior defense. We have a 74 uh, perimeter defense along with a 73 steel, which is going to get us a uh, bronze glove and silver interceptor. Uh, you know, like I just said earlier, those passing lanes are actually devious. So even a badge on bronze or silver is enough for you to just jump the pass completely. And just, especially if somebody has like under a 70 pass accuracy, which I'm seeing a lot of builds with like a 60, 50 pass accuracy, 65 pass accuracy. If you're below that 78, you're going to be throwing a lot of turnover. So even something as low as a 73 steal, it, it's a budget it's low but it will you know give you a nice return when you got dudes running around with a 65 pass accuracy uh moving on to the rebounder we have a 70 offensive with a 70 defensive so you know we're decent we're not you know a board hunter or anything like that we're not going to be you know uh horsing anybody or anything but we got decent rebounding and then we're going to have really good physicals as well too 
So that's going to make up for being a little bit on the shorter side with the lower rebounding. We're going to make up with that with, you know, having really good physical. So we got an 85 speed, 85 agility, a 75 strength, and then we're just going to max out our vertical for a 90 vertical. And then you see these are the badges that we're getting with that vertical, bronze posterizer, uh, obviously, which we can raise again with those cap breakers. You can raise that to silver posterizer, you know what I'm saying, if you choose to do such a thing, you know, but... Personally, like I said, I wouldn't do that. I would go with, like, layup or, you know, something else just to make my build better. Maybe ball handling or something like that. Uh, but, yeah, you can, you know, go up posterizer. You got high flying denier, uh, bronze rise up. Uh, for the strength, we got silver physical finisher. We got uh, gold strong handle, silver box out beast, bronze brick wall, movable enforcer, and uh, bronze post powerhouse. And then for the uh, agility, we have on ball menace. Bronze Pick Dodger, uh, Silver Shifty Shooter, and Gold Slippery Ball, Off Ball, excuse me. And the thing I like I like most about this build is that you're just kind of well-rounded. You can play a little bit of defense on the perimeter. You can play a little bit of defense on the interior. You have a 70 O board and D board, so you can, you know, board up and help box out for your center or your big man that you're playing next to. You got an 81 ball handle, 75 speed with ball, 75 pass attack speed, so you can do... A little cooking if you need to yourself you can you know put the ball on the floor you can beat people off the dribble you know uh then you got good shooting where you can space the floor with the 87 three ball and the 77 uh midi you can hit free throws if you play you know 5v5 and then you got some decent finishing as well too with the 80 driving dunk 87 driving layup hall of fame aerial wizard if a dude is holding l2 and face guarding you you can always make that back door cut and catch alley oops now you got bronze posterizer just a nice well-rounded build you know what i mean uh and then of course when we create our build you'll see these shades up we see scotty barnes we see lebron james up there and we see Kawhi leonard which is kind of crazy because we don't have really ridiculous defensive stats but again Scotty Barnes, LeBron James, Kawhi Leonard, and then of course our build name and Inside Out Small Ball 4. So there you have it. This is my Inside Out Small Ball 4 build for NBA 2K25. Please be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe for more NBA 2K25 content. And of course, more rare builds like this. I'm out, y'all. Peace.